In the UK, a groundbreaking engineering project below Liverpool's River Mercy changed tunnel safety forever. So this is the Queensway Tunnel. And when it opened, it was the biggest and longest underwater road tunnel in the world. Opened in 1934, it took 1,700 men over eight years to construct. But it's not the digging of this tunnel that makes it revolutionary. About 30,000 cars travel through this tunnel every day. And even with modern exhaust systems, that's a lot of fumes. And the engineering innovation in this tunnel is what solved that. By the early 20th century, tunnel engineers had to contend with toxic fumes from the cars using them. To keep poisonous fumes at bay, the builders of the Mercy Tunnel turned to physiologist John Scott Haldane. And this is what they came up with. It was the world's largest ventilation system. And incredibly, this system is still in use today. In each of the six huge ventilation towers, fresh air drawn in at roof level is pumped underneath the roadway before being blown into the tunnel through ducts along its sides. At the same time, exhaust fans draw toxic fumes out through holes in the roof. The George's Dock Ventilation Tower is home to six massive fans circulating air through the Mercy Tunnel System. Incredibly, these are the original fans that were first installed down here almost 100 years ago. Each fan can move 83,000 cubic feet of air a minute, safely pumping exhaust fumes from the top of the 200-foot high tower above. Now, this is a place that very few people get a chance to see. I'm standing right at the bottom of one of the ventilation shafts. The huge height of the tower ensures the air supply isn't contaminated by vehicle exhaust fumes from the street. It's said that the air down here is even cleaner than the air for the people walking around in the streets of Liverpool. Once the largest tunnel ever drilled, the road only uses the top half of the original tunnel. Most people, when they drive through the tunnel, they think they're at the bottom, but they're not. Actually, below them is this two-story high space called Central Avenue. The lower level was designed to house a tram line, but it was never built. Now it serves as the main air supply duct, where air from the tower is blown into the road deck above. It's pretty amazing to think that there's this space like this down beneath the road deck. Uh, and I have to say, pretty cool to be down here. With its revolutionary ventilation system, the Queensway Tunnel provided the blueprint for all tunnel designs that followed.